Hey Scott Himmelstein with the Scott Himmelstein Group. Welcome back to another edition of our video blog. Spring is already officially here, so today we have the pleasure of being joined by Ryan LaFleur of Four Seasons Nursery to help you decide what are some of the best plants to plant as we move into spring and summertime. Before we discuss that, reminder if you're a home seller, check out our free home value report. And if you're looking to purchase a home, we have our free MLS search tool for properties all over Southern California. So again, we have the pleasure today of being joined by Ryan LaFleur of Four Seasons Nursery in Northridge in between Reseda Boulevard and Wilbur Avenue, again, in Northridge. All right, so Ryan, so if people are looking to figure out what are some of the best plants for their home to actually plant during this time of year, what would you recommend? Well, there's a, a lot of plants that you can do. Uh, first off, let me start by saying thank you very much for having me on your blog. Our pleasure. I appreciate you coming down to the nursery and giving us the opportunity to uh, be a part of this. Uh, first off, it's not so much of what particular plant you can do because we don't want to pigeonhole you just to do it. Oh, you can only do this and you can't do anything else. It's more of the timing of the year. Right now in spring is the best absolute time to plant just about anything. Uh, when you're doing plant material, you got to understand if you're buying it from someone like me or anybody in this industry, uh, we baby our plants a bit. We water them when they should be, we fertilize them when they should be, and when you come in they look beautiful with full of flowers and you want to buy them. When you get home you don't always have that time and energy to put into them, so about the best thing you can do for your plants is try to get it into the time of year that your plants are going to adapt properly to the new situation or the new home they're being placed in. Um, what makes spring so special about everything other than the fact that leaves start coming out again, things start blooming and everybody gets excited, is that the weather gradually increases. So it's not that you're going to put a plant in and then tomorrow it's 105 degrees, you got to run out there with a the hose to water. Uh, the plants go in, nice temperate weather, they get a chance to establish themselves in the ground and really become strong before we get to that time period. It's, uh, I use a lot of analogies and my analogy is it's, it's like training for the marathon. You don't show up on race day and decide to run 26 miles. You do a lot of training beforehand and that's basically what you're giving your plants. The ability to train to get ready for that heat of the summer. All right, so Ryan, if, you're so, if someone's gonna actually put in their home on the market and they just need something quick, what type of plants would you recommend just to give them a little bit of color to spruce up the house to give it more curb appeal? So if you are looking to, to sell your home and obviously everybody wants to make their house look nice and presentable and pleasing, a lot of times people go with the, uh, the idea of buying a flat of flowers, which is a great idea before an open house just to kind of you know give it a little extra kick. However, if you are unfortunate and you don't sell it that weekend, sometimes those flowers can go away. And now you're looking at a bunch of little green things in your yard where you're going, hey, flowers used to be there. So what I oftentimes suggest is buying some plants that contrast the color of the plant material you may already have in your yard. For example, if you have a lot of green bushes and nothing really stands out, you may choose to do something with uh, a bit of red in the leaves, uh, maybe a little gold, maybe a little bit of gray. Um, but just something so whereas it's always going to stay that color no matter how long it takes to sell the home. You don't have to worry about going out there every Friday and uh, changing out flats of flowers before you open houses. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Again, Ryan LaFleur from Four Seasons Nursery in Northridge. Wanted to thank him for appearing on our video blog. If you have any real estate questions, always feel free to give us a call at the Scott Himmelstein Group, 818-396-3311. 818-396-3311. And thanks again for watching our video blog. Thank you.